Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Eternal Flames. My name is Blaze. So, if you've noticed, we got ourselves a very interesting little setup here, and I've been looking at some of the older tutorials, especially for, say, like Terra Firma Craft. For those of you who have played Minecraft, but not Terra Firma Craft, you have no idea the changes that are in store for you. Not only that, but Terra Firma Craft has got some pretty large changes as of recently, which will affect our new series and our new Let's Play to better allow you guys to either A, follow along, or B, maybe jump in and survive and thrive on your own, here are a set of tutorials that I feel that you guys may enjoy to help you get along in the world. Keep in mind that these tutorials are for beginners or people who just haven't done that specific thing before. If you don't like this particular tutorial, feel free to skip ahead or maybe go back a couple steps. This particular message will be in front of all the tutorials and we heavily encourage you guys to watch them if you want the help. If you feel you want to learn on your own, by all means go try to, or maybe you just don't want to listen to me. In that case, go take a look at the wiki, which we have down in the description below. Hope you guys all enjoy, and I guess uh, we'll see you soon. Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back again. <laughs> so, we've been through quite a lot, and we're about to really run down into probably one of the hardest parts of this entire mod pack. Or, how do I put this? More of the most annoying. Uh, if you can tell, this is not my favorite part, but it is an important part, as so many others that I try to teach you guys. I really try my best to make sure that you guys have as much information as possible, and I try not to go too in depth and let you guys kind of experiment for the most part. However, this time, there isn't much to experiment with. This is going to be pretty straightforward, and while it yields some of my favorite parts, it itself is a very annoying build. So let's go ahead and get started and we'll go from there. The first thing you're going to need is fire clay, and you're going to need a tear or tire I, I can never pronounce this word if you know how to pronounce it please tell me down in the comments I I don't know how but you're gonna need to build one of these you can build them out of most metals specifically tool metals and they're important the stronger the metal the stronger they're gonna be so keep that in mind okay so the first thing we need to go over is first to change of time <laughs> I didn't actually think that uh it get dark so soon, and I'm already starving. Jeez, I'm really doing myself a number, ain't I? There we go. And there we go. All right. So the first thing we need to do is we're gonna have to actually build a kiln for the first time in forever. Up until now, we haven't really had to do much with a kiln, so it's not something I really want to go over again. However, for this case, we kind of have to. First thing, next thing you're gonna need is you're gonna need your fire clay, and you're gonna need as many of these as possible. So get as much graphite and colite as you can, cause it's about to get nasty. Now you're gonna need to put this in groups of four, and it's going to yield two clay fire bricks. Just snatch up all of those, and like always, right click to put them down in your kiln. Followed by straw, hold until full, and then followed by good old fashioned wood. Now, careful not to overclick because you don't want to put something over this. Finally, light. There we go. Okay, now that we've got that lit, it's going to take a little while, but that's going to eventually turn into these right here the fire bricks. Now, I haven't shown you guys how to make these bricks yet, so we'll go ahead and we'll do that along with the fire bricks. All bricks are made exactly the same, say for the fire brick itself. You're going to need a chisel, and I believe that's it. So you take a chisel, right, and we just need a stone for this particular tutorial stone chisel brick boom the next recipe pretty easy 
One, two, three, four, five. And boom. And this will yield two brick blocks. Now that's pretty nice, right? But the problem is, is how many of these we need. Oh man, do we need a lot. So we're just going to do like this. And we're just going to make as many as possible. Boom. Put that in there. Boom. And one more time. Boom. Hopefully this is enough. If not, I'm going to be very upset here in just a bit. Okay, time for the next part. You're going to need two crucibles. Yeah, you heard me. Two crucibles. And you're going to want a spare one inside your forge, wherever that is, so that you can, you know, kind of keep doing the metalworking that we've been doing. Okay? So that means you're going to want a total of three crucibles. That's 15 more fire clay. Getting kind of expensive, right? And if you notice, I got a lot of iron sheets. That's also pretty important. So let's get the show on the road. First thing you're going to need to do is take one of these crucibles and double sheets of wrought iron. Surround it and you'll make a blast furnace. Okay, now that we got the main component, the next piece is going to be kind of obvious. We're going to want to put the crucible down, take our blast furnace, put our, oh, that's right, we can't put our blast furnace yet. I almost forgot. We need to put our bricks down first. This is where things are about to get hectic. Let's go ahead and toss down a couple of uh, these as well. And we'll stick a ladder right here just for now. Okay. Um, next thing we need to do is take our fire brick and we need to layer it around this area okay now once again temporary ladder go up here and we want to chop this back down now very similar to our bloomery we want the inside to be hollow so that's a key thing and the more layers you have the better it's gonna be I believe it's the exact same as the bloomery where the more layers, the better yield you're going to get. So we'll do about four, give or take. Four or five. I believe that's about the max. And we're going to break ourselves out real quick. There we go. So I guess I didn't actually need this many fire bricks, but mm, even so. Okay. So, this is where things are going to get a bit more expensive. You're going to need to take an iron sheet and right click on the edge of your thing. Now, you don't need to do the bottom or the top, but you do need to do all the sides of all these fire bricks. And if you notice, we just got done boiling through 12 iron sheets. That's 24 ingots. That's a lot of iron. Let's go ahead and put down some more while we have a chance. There we go. And we'll just wrap this all the way around. <laughs> Accidentally stuck one too high, but I guess we need to stick it up there anyways. There we go. Now important note similar to our bloomery it needs to see the sky you cannot bend or contort this at all so don't even really think about it oh look at that three stacks three stacks of iron sheets just for the blast furnace but hey we gotta make it because this is gonna be what makes us our steel yeah you heard me steel now we put the blast furnace there if you notice it didn't pop off this time if you really want to go the extra mile, which I actually recommend, what you want to do is you want to dig out from under your crucible, right? And you're going to want to put a forge down. So we're going to need 
some charcoal. And we've already got our fire starter, so that's even better. And we don't actually have to worry about, you know, rain and that because it is covered, so. There we go. Fire starter. Oh. <laughs> Do we actually have to make the shit? Oh, wait, hold up. Let's put some fire brick there. Yep, I think we actually have to make our chimney first. So, we'll collect those real quick. Hmm. I could swear I have a, no, oh, I did have enough charcoal. I feel silly now. Hmm. What am I possibly doing wrong? I love how all the buildings are temperamental in Terra Firma Craft. Let's go ahead and maybe we need to shape this a bit differently for the time being. So we'll put that down. There we go. Oh, <laughs> how silly am I? I forgot one of the golden rolls. Actually, apparently I forgot a couple of golden rules. We'll go ahead and dig this out real quick. I feel so silly. I'm sorry, guys. You can kind of mark me off as a dirt for that one. We'll use our fire brick for this. We'll make it, you know, universal. There we go. Uh, silly, silly blaze. <laughs> okay. Put down our charcoal. Fire starter. There we go. Crucible. And then we'll follow up with blast furnace. And then, if you notice, it says ore and charcoal. This is where things are going to get fun. But we can't just plop it in here. This is actually where this goes. Boom. Okay. So now, we gotta somehow get up there. And because of this metal, we gotta stay at least one block to the side. So, that's what the ladder is for. Okay. And... We'll go one more up. And over like this. Okay. So now that we've got that, try to make our way safely down. There we go. So now we have a means up. Now we just need to, well, get our iron ready. Now a couple of you go on, we'll use iron bars, right? Nah, we don't use iron bars around here. You gotta use the raw stuff, the good stuff. Which apparently I don't have much of. Oh, need to get a drink. Okay, yeah, I think I turned it all into normal iron from the looks of it. So, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to go and um, get some more. That's all there is to it. I'll be right back while I go get some iron. Hopefully you guys don't miss too much. See you guys soon. Okay, I'm back, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry about that. Okay, so before we can do anything, there's a couple things we need to do first. First off, try not to fall in this. I mean, it'd be a waste if you did. First, you need, uh, you're going to need to toss in your charcoal. I'm just going to toss an entire stack here. Okay. Then, flux. And then, whatever iron you manage to get. In this case, I got some hematite. There we go. And if you notice, it capped off. But we're not ready yet. We need to actually light this up. And if you notice, our charcoal and ore ratio is about the same. Which, mind you, isn't bad, but it's not good either. If you can help it, always try to have more charcoal than ore. Okay. Next, we're going to have to build something else entirely. Now, I could just fire this bad boy up, but that's just not going to turn out. So, we're going to need to actually do a little bit of extra work here. Yeah, I know. You guys are going, ugh, 
This is so much. When is it done? We're almost there. We're almost there. We're going to need some good old fashioned planks. And then top and bottom with leather in between. Boom. Bellows. Now you're going, holy crap, did you just make bellows? Doesn't that like blow air on the fire to make it hotter? Why, well, yes. Yes, it does. We actually don't need the rest of this wood. We just need these. So, let's go ahead and put these down, and you want to make sure they're facing the blast furnace. So, one, and we'll just go two. Now, keep in mind you only need one, but if you're playing with other people, they can press and hold on bellows too to help keep heat up. Now it's time for the process. Let's make some steel. Um, let's see, we take our fire starter, and we just light that up. And now, if you notice, our charcoal is already going down. But we really need this to heat up and get that ore nice and hot. So, we're just going to hold down the right mouse button and pump these bellows. That's right. I'm going to work both bellows because I'm a man. <laughs> I'm just joking. I, I don't know. I've always liked pumping both bellows. Okay. Now, this is going to be a bit of a process. And the problem is, is if your charcoal is lower than your ore you're actually going to run into a problem where it's not going to get hot enough. With us pushing the bellows, we might be able to maintain just enough heat to really pull it through, but this is a bit of a process. Okay, we also should probably light up our crucible down here. So let's get that going. And there we go. Okay, it's nice and hot in there. We just gotta keep the heat pumping. If you notice, it's white hot in there. Compared to what we've been used to with like oranges and reds, this is several times hotter. Oh jeez, I need to... I think I accidentally... To... Yeah, I put all my charcoal in there. You're probably asking yourselves, why are you heating this up already? Well... When this gets done with the ore it's got in here, what's going to happen is it's going to drain all that steel down into this crucible. So we got to be ready to catch it and keep it nice and hot so we can drain it out. Okay, let's go up here and we'll dump some more charcoal in. The more people you have working this, the better it's going to be in the long run. So keep that in mind. And yeah, you're going to want two or three people if you're playing with other people. If you're by yourself, well, I think you'll be all right. Almost looks like some of the ores already spilled in. Nope. Okay, come on, baby. Dump me some good stuff. Now, unlike the bloomery, this process isn't going to take as long. Or at least it shouldn't. We're going to need them. And keep pumping the bellows. Oh yeah, look at that. Our ore is finally going down. And there we go. Beautiful. We've got plenty of charcoal in there to keep it going the rest of the way. Okay, now that we've got that going, we'll go ahead and stick that in there. And we're going to run inside. And we're going to take care of this while we have a chance. I would recommend keeping it close, but because of that iron, it makes it difficult. So, that's still liquid. Might be liquid for a little bit, still. So, is this empty? Yeah, that's about empty. So let's grab as much as we can. The problem is, is for steel, you need to keep it as hot as possible, which means whites and yellows. Whites and yellows. There we go. Wow, it is staying hot as can be, isn't it? Oh, there we go. And we'll go ahead and pour that out real quick. So, now that it's turned, you know, just a bright white, we can pull that out free, stick it on... Oh, I forgot to... <laughs> I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. I got in such a rush, I forgot to do something.
Okay, I'm back ladies and gentlemen. Sorry about that. If you notice the blast furnace is turned off, all the ore and charcoal has kind of drained out. And down here we have pig iron. So all you need to do is stick a mold right under, just like we did before with the crucible. And then we need this to cool down. Now when it first comes out, it's going to take a little while to cool down, but since I've had it sitting here for a bit, there you go. But we need to work fast. And for this, you're going to need an iron anvil. So hopefully by now you've already made one. Stick it in here. And we need to turn it into a bit more refined. One, two, three, four. Oh, so close. <laughs> oh, it seems my hammer ran out. Which means I better hurry and get a new one real fast. Uh, stones, and I've got sticks somewhere around here, right? Hip sticks. Okay, before this cools down too much. I run out of stone hammer so quickly. If you get the opportunity, guys, make a bronze hammer. It'll save you a lot of anxiety. Wish I had thought of that sooner. Okay. I could swear that's dead on. Hmm. Hmm. Come on. And I waited too long. If you notice, it had to go down to bright red before it screwed up. But, we can just toss it back in here, heat it up a little bit, and let's superheat this bad boy. There we go. If you put the billows over uh, or just by a forge, you can actually increase the heat of the forge as well. So this is perfect for what we're after. There we go, it's already an orange. We'll keep pumping these billows and get even higher, you know? And the hotter the fire, the quicker this stuff starts to go up. So, there we go. That should be enough. And... Come on, go to yellow. Yellow. Okay. I might need to make a side... Ooh. I might need to make a side entrance to my forge. Uh, this is why you want to kind of keep everything inside if possible. Oh, come on. There we go. Now we got high carbon steel. That's still too much. And boom, steel ingot. Our first steel ingot. The beginning of everything of the end. Thank you ladies and gentlemen for watching. Hopefully this tutorial has been helpful. Hopefully you're not going to have as many problems as I did during the making of this tutorial. But this was quite a lot to go over, right? I mean, we actually went over so much. Uh, and it was hard. It was difficult. But you know what? Now that you guys have done this, you can start making steel products. And if you've got the right materials, you can start making black steel, red steel, and blue steel. How do you do that? We'll go over that in another tutorial. If you like this tutorial, hit that like button. If you dislike it, hit that dislike button. Let me know why. Maybe the tutorial is a bit too long or too wordy. On the other hand, if you really want to see more of these tutorials, check out our channel. We've actually got a playlist with all the tutorials from when we started up until this point. Hopefully you'll find something that will work for you. Maybe you want to see more of our shows, including our Terraforma Crafts show, or maybe you want to see some of our other series. In that case, hit subscribe and come check out our channel on a regular basis. That's going to be it for me. You guys stay safe, stay well, just take care. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. I'm going to make some steel. I got 20 pieces of armor. Well, I flubbed that one up. I got to quit doing musical references. Shit. Hmm. Oh, well, I got steel. Woohoo. Oh, shit.